welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I actually just got this collection to me in the mail and it's been a minute since I've sat down and filmed like a trying new makeup video or really a review of any kind on my channel. I've just had a lot going on as you guys know. So I got the new Bretman Rock Wet n Wild collection sent to me today and Rowan was thankfully napping so I was like let me actually film a first impressions with that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. We will swatch all of the products. I'll try them out on my face and we'll see what we think of the collection. If you are new here then welcome thank you so much for deciding to click on my video I am going to like I said try to keep this you know to the makeup so let's go ahead and get started so like I said I did receive the entire collection I'll show you guys the PR package right here so it does have all of the products here from the Bretman Rock collection if you guys do not know Bretman Rock is a content creator so he got to collaborate with Wet n Wild and I believe they are calling this the Jungle Rock collection so I'm going to show you guys all of the products we have a highlight there's mascara, lip glosses, there's a setting spray, there is also brushes and an eyeshadow palette a part of this collection so it's definitely a wide range. I love Wet n Wild as a brand. I feel like they have some really great products that are very affordable. I use a lot of their products every day and I really enjoy them as a brand. So I'm going to be showing you guys all of the products like I said. I'm going to swatch everything as we go along as well. So I think first I'm going to actually start with the eyes. So they did include one of the sheets, which I can always appreciate because it has the prices and all of the info on here. So the eyeshadow palette retails for $14.99. It has 15 shades. And it says it has a mix of satin, matte, and shimmer finishes. And this all is available right now as I am filming this. So the collection is available. I'll have everything linked down below. So here is the palette right here. This is the Jungle Rock palette. Very cute packaging. And here is the inside. We'll go ahead and remove this. So here is a look inside of the palette. We have 15 shades, like I mentioned. We have the Jungle Rock here on the top. I really like that Wet n Wild is coming out with more of like these palette palettes because I feel like for so long they've just had the, um, you know, like the plastic palettes. And I think that the cardboard is just much more sleeker and it doesn't seem so cheap, I feel like, as the other ones do. I've always been a fan of their matte formula. I think it's incredible. And they've been coming out with some pretty good shimmers too. So here we have, again, the palette. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all the 15 shades and then we'll try them out on the eyes. Okay, so here are all of the 15 swatches from the palette. I did them by row. I'm very impressed with the shimmers. They swatched really nicely, especially this first row here of the shimmers. And then we have the shadows here that are the mattes. Um, I will say that these are pressed pigments. I don't see anywhere that it says that, but I'm pretty positive based upon they're calling this a shadow palette. And just the way that they swatched, um, they do seem like they are pressed pigments. So you have to work with those a little bit differently than you would regular matte shadows. And they're also not considered eye safe. So keep that in mind if you are planning to purchase this. But initially these swatches look really nice and I'm excited to try this out on the eyes. He also came out with three different brushes a part of this collection. So we have the face highlighting brush here. Super cute packaging on these. They come in like these little tubes. So we have this one here. My bristles seem to be, let's see if I can show you guys. The bristles are kind of coming out the side. Um, but if I push it back in, probably, yeah, they go back in. So this is the brush, very cute handle. It has like an ombre effect. It has the Bretman Rock on there. And then we have two different eye brushes. So the face brush is gonna be $7.99 and then $6.99 for both of the eye brushes. Okay, and then for those we have like a shader brush. So flat shader brush, this would be what would you would use to pack on those shadows. And then also we have this one here, which is just a blending brush. Again, these are both $6.99 and then we have the highlight brush. So I'm gonna use these to do my eyeshadow look and we're gonna start now with the palette. So I am just gonna first start with a base. So I'm just gonna use this CoverGirl concealer. I've been really liking this as an eyeshadow base. It's just the undercover um, concealer. I just like it because it's a little bit of a thicker consistency. I went ahead and just set that with my sponge and now we're gonna go into the palette. So I'm trying to think which direction I wanna go. I know for the lid I wanna try this as like my shimmer because this really swatched really pretty. It's called King of the Jungle. These do have names on them too, which is great. Um, since this palette doesn't have a mirror, I'm just gonna grab my own little mirror right here. So I'm gonna go in with Coconut Connoisseur right here and I'm going to just blend that a little bit in my crease just so I don't get any creasing, but I'm not gonna set my entire lid. So just a little bit right here. And then for my next shade, I feel like the way that they did this, like the bright shades, I don't know which one I wanna use. There's not like my normal transition shade in here. Mm, so I think I'm gonna start out with this one, which is Anaconda right here, this teal shade. I'm gonna try to work that into my crease first. I will say these brushes feel pretty soft, so that's pretty promising. And I'm gonna kind of just begin to blend the shade. 
I don't want it to be too intense because I want to just kind of diffuse this more in the crease. They're a little bit powdery, but nothing too bad. So I'm kind of just building this up a little bit, but again, I don't want it to be too intense. The brush feels actually pretty good. It doesn't feel like scratchy or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually move into the pinks and the purples in the palette. So I'm gonna go into this shade called Flamingo. Flamingo right here, this pink one, and I'm gonna work this into the crease. So with pressed pigments, I always try to kind of just like stamp them on and then I'll blend them afterwards just because I feel like that's the way you get the most pigment. I'm not sure how this is gonna blend with the other shade, but we'll see. So I'm gonna kind of just pack this one on and then I'll begin to blend it out. Can you guys believe we're already in to March? I honestly just can't even believe it. It feels so crazy to me. This year is going by so fast already. I can't believe Rowan is already three months, which is insane. Um, I really feel like he was just born yesterday. He's already getting so much bigger. I want to do like an update video. Maybe I'll do like a chatty get ready with me where I can update you guys more and just like what's going on with him and how motherhood's been and everything like that. Um, so definitely comment down below if you guys want to see that. So, so far the shade seems to be blending out okay. I do feel like it's kind of making the other shade disappear just because it's a little bit more pigmented than the last shade. Um, I don't mind it though because I feel like I'm wanting to go with the pinks and the purples a little bit more anyways. I can definitely still see where the other shade was, but I do think that this covered it up. That was definitely a very sheer shade, the last one. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade Feeling Myself, this purple one next, and I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of blend this shade right on top of the pink. And again, it's a pressed pigment, so I'm gonna kind of just press it in and then start to blend it out. I'm gonna keep this one a little bit lower than the last shade. I'm gonna go into that first shade just to help blend out these edges a little bit more. If ever you feel like your look isn't blended, you can always go in with a lighter shade to just kind of help diffuse it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the flat brush and I'm gonna go into the shade um, King of the Jungle right here, this really nice yellowy gold shade. And I'm just gonna pick this up on the flat brush and begin to pack this onto the lid. I didn't switch my brush. I just want to see how it performs on its own. It's definitely pigmented. I do think, however, I am going to spray my brush just to see how much more foiled we can get it. So part of this collection, they actually have a three-in-one face mist, and it says it's the multi-use mist that can be used to prep, hydrate, and set your makeup. Um, so this one is going to be $7.99, and it looks really pretty. It's kind of like one of those ones that you shake up. Looks really nice, so I'm actually going to use this to spritz my brush before I go in with that foil. See how this, ooh, that was a bad spray on the first one, but the second one seems like a finer mist. I was like, oh my gosh, ooh, it smells like coconuts. I like that smell. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just tap this on. It definitely made it a little bit more foiled. Anytime you dampen your brush, it's always going to help your shadows perform just a little bit more. So we're just gonna tap this on and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the other shade, I think, over here. So I'm gonna kind of just keep this shade just to the inner corner of the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Prowl, which is this gold one right here, and I'm gonna work that just a little bit on this like second part of my lid. Kind of pack it just right here. I am getting a tiny, tiny bit of fallout with the shimmer shades. We didn't have any fallout with the mattes, but you can see just like a little bit of the shimmer on my face, but that's okay. We'll be able to dust that away. So again, I'm just packing the shade just so we have a little bit of an ombre right here, but these shimmers seem really, really nice. I'm loving the way this eye look is coming out. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to do my lower lash line. So for that, I'm pretty much just gonna go in with the same shades that I used in the beginning. So I'm gonna go in with the pink, a little bit of the purple, I'm just sweep those crossed my lower lash line. Okay, so we've got our eyes all finished. I actually went in with a little bit of the Benefit Highbrow just in my waterline, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit more. I really like the way that this eye looks. It kind of gives me a little bit of like a festival vibe. So there's actually a mascara part of this collection, which I'm excited about. So this is the Bad Bitch Lift Mascara, and this is in the shade Black, and I'm actually going to try this. I feel like I've tried Wet n Wild mascaras in the past, and I wasn't really a fan, so I'm very interested to see if I like this one any better. I also appreciate the fact that there is a mascara in the collection. I feel like that doesn't happen very often. So this is $7.99 and ooh, it has a nice wand. It has a bit of a curve to it. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my mirror here and try this out so I'm just gonna coat my lashes here I'm not gonna wear any lashes just so we can get the full effect of the mascara so off the bat just like first initial thoughts is I like this much better than the other wet n wild ones I've tried just because the one I've tried previously is like so wet that I hate like a super wet mascara because I feel like you don't have any room to like wiggle it or do anything with it um, this doesn't feel as wet so that is good the wand is nice it seems like it's doing a nice job of lifting my lashes it does seem pretty black as well all right, so I'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up. I feel like that's looking pretty good. I don't think it made me look like I have more lashes by any means, but it definitely a, did a good job of curling them. And I also feel like it did a good job of kind of just like separating them. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye really quickly and then we'll try out the rest of the products. All right, so again, here's a close-up of both of the lashes. I think that looks pretty good. I like this eye even better than this one. So next, we're gonna go ahead and try out the highlights. And I love Wet n Wild highlighters. I feel like they have some of the best when it comes to the drugstore. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the one that Bretman came out with. So the highlighter, this is the Loose Highlighting Duo. It's gonna retail for $7.99. It is actually a double panned highlight. Here is the packaging right here, very cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's called Linger, I believe is the name of it. So you actually have two different highlighter colors and they have the little things here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up both of the highlights so I can show you guys. I really appreciate this packaging that it has the little closures here. That's my con with some of the Wet n Wild loose highlights that I already have is they're really messy. So I like that it has that super cute because it has a B and an R right there like indented. So we have the two different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of flip this over so I can swatch both of them. Okay, so you do have to hit it a little hard to actually get the product out of here, but it's finally out. So I'm gonna show you guys swatches. So I'm gonna show you the lighter shade and then also the more pinkier, deeper shade. So here they are on my finger. They look really pretty. And then I'll go ahead and swatch both of them for you. So here are the swatches of them both. So the second one, like the darker shade, I would say is a little bit more glittery and a little more sheer than the first page, the first one. It definitely has more of like a boom to it and I don't notice as much glitter in that one. So I'm gonna try them both out combined. I am gonna use the highlighter brush that is a part of the collection as well. So I'm first just gonna go in with the lightest shade and I'm gonna just pop that one on. Oh, okay, <laughs> that is pigmented. Wow, all right, so I'm gonna apply that just to my cheeks. That was way more pigmented than I thought. I don't know what I expected because Wet n Wild, like I said, has some really blinding highlights, especially their loose highlights. So I'm applying this just to the high points, definitely tapping off the excess here so it's not anything like too, too crazy, but I already feel like, yeah, this is a very pigmented highlight. So if you don't love like super blinding highlights, this probably would be one you could skip on. But if you like a blinding highlight, definitely a little goes a long way. Um, I do see a little bit of glitter in this, but it's not anything that's like too bad. I prefer um, highlights that have a little bit less glitter, but this one doesn't have too much. I would just be careful with like applying it here. Like I put it down a little too low, so I feel like it's kind of emphasizing my pores right here. I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose and my lips here as well. And then I'm gonna apply some of the deeper shade, just like right here. Kind of use it as like a little bit of a topper. Uh, I don't know if I can even see that. Hold on, apply a little more. Yeah, that one almost seems like just like straight glitter. I don't know if I love the second one, it definitely looks a lot more glittery like on this side. It's even in my hair. <laughs> I'm a lot more glittery on this side than it does on that side. So I don't know that I love the second one because it does just seem like straight pink glitter. But the first color I think is really pretty. So I'm going to apply this one over here just so it matches. But if I was to use this again, I'd probably stick away from um, this side and just use this side. But I think that the first highlight is really pretty. And I really appreciate the packaging on that one, like I said. So I'm gonna actually spray my face now with the spray that is a part of this collection. And I'm just gonna kind of douse myself in this. Oh, I love the smell. Whew, okay. <laughs> Definitely a lot there. It is leaving little splashes. I hate when sprays do that. So let me actually just use my fan here and see if we can't get that to blend a little bit more. Sometimes it'll kind of melt in with my fan and then other times I'm gonna have to go in and like sponge it out. So you can see that glitter all in my hair. But do you see how like we have little splotches right here? Mm, I don't love it when that happens. Maybe I should have mixed it up better. It definitely has a lot of like little 
um, glitters in it so you have to make sure you probably mix this one up and I don't know if I would use this as like a prepper but it definitely gave us a glow like I can definitely tell my face is a little bit more glowy but I don't love how I have like just splotches of glitter on my face right now I'm gonna actually take my sponge and see if I can get those off my face yeah okay that blended out actually better so I'm just gonna kind of run through my face really quick and just kind of get rid of the splotches of glitter we have. That smells amazing. So it does say shake me, so I think I should have shaked it up a little bit first. I probably wouldn't have gotten those splotches, but definitely gave a nice radiance to the skin and it smells, like I said, really, really good. So lastly, we have the lip products that are a part of this. So there are three different lip glosses. So we have this one here, which is Ferocity, I believe is how you say that. We also have the next one here, which is Freaky, which is a little bit more of a pinky gloss. And then the last one that we have is Fearless. So here are all three of them kind of next to each other so you can see. So these are definitely not very like opaque, but they will give a pretty sheen to the lips. So here is the first one. So that one is just like I said, a gold. We have like the more pink purple shift and then we have the last one there which is just like a nude gloss I like wet and wilds gloss formula I feel like it's really nice it's not too thick it's not too sticky so I think for this look I'm gonna use this one which is freaky which is like the purpley one just because I think it goes with this eye look so I'm just gonna use a lip liner really quickly this one is from NYX it's just the lip liner natural one of my favorites all right and then we're gonna go in with the freaky gloss just right over top and more in the middle I really like this applicator. This is different than their other glosses, I think. I could be wrong, but it seems a lot more bendier than the ones I've tried before. This is a pretty shade. It has a nice scent to it, too. It smells like a little bit fruity. After our gloss, here is our final look using the Jungle Rock collection. I don't know, you guys. I'm pretty impressed. I feel like if you were to tell me this was a full face of Wet n Wild, I probably wouldn't believe you. This looks so pretty. I love the way that the eye look came out. I was really impressed with the mascara. I keep looking at my lashes like they look so long and just like curled. I think they look really pretty. I do like the highlight. I don't like how glittery it is like where I did apply that other one, but I think the highlight is really pretty. I love this gloss. It feels really nice on the lips. It looks really pretty with the lip liner that I put on with it. The eye look, I really like the way it came out. I feel like it was pretty easy to work with. Just definitely with those pressed pigments, you're going to want to kind of stamp them on first. That's the way you're going to get the best pigments. Um, I think the first shade, I don't know what went on with that because that one kind of just disappeared when it came to putting the pink over top of it. Uh, and I do wish they had more of like a transition color in there. But all in all, I think it's a really pretty palette. I'm definitely excited to play with it more and to create just some more looks with it. Um, the shimmer in particular I was really really impressed with because it looks very foiled very nice on the lid I'm excited to test out the rest of the lip glosses and also play a little bit more with the setting spray I think just I needed to shake it up I think that's what it is because it even says on it like shake it up and obviously you can tell there's a lot of glitter in this so I think had I shook it up first it wouldn't have did like that splotchy thing but the sprayer seemed really nice it does smell really good and it definitely gave us a glow so all in all I'm pretty impressed with this collection I don't think we had anything um, that I didn't like aside from the one side of the highlighter. All in all, I think I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the brushes were definitely really good quality too. Those were really nice. So congrats to Bretman. I think you did a great job with this collection. And I always love Wet n Wild, you guys. I feel like you can't go wrong with a lot of their products. I feel like they're definitely stepping it up with their packaging. I really like the packaging on this entire collection. I think it looks really, really cohesive, very nice. So you guys will have to let me know down below if you are planning on getting any of the products that were a part of this. Are you a big fan of Bretman? Let me know in the comment section. I will have all of the products linked down below like I mentioned. Also comment down below any other videos you guys want to see from me. I know I mentioned doing like a chatty get ready with me, but if you want to see anything else, leave that down in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.